Welcome to the Home Downsizing Show. My name is Ben Socek, your host and the owner and founder of Home Downsizing Solutions. With the Home Downsizing Show, I want to provide you the information and resources to make the downsizing of your house stress and hassle-free. So sit back and enjoy the show. Thank you for joining us. Hello, and welcome to this episode of the Home Downsizing Show. This is Ben Socek, Mr. Home Downsizing, and the host of your show. Today, uh, the today's show is sponsored by Home Downsizing Solutions, the company that specializes in assisting seniors and their families transition to a new smaller home, apartment, or other senior living arrangement in the easiest and most stress-free, hassle-free way by buying a house direct from the seller. And today, I'd like to discuss a little bit about uh, the subject of aging in place with the real estate market the way it is and uh, with interest rates going up and looking like they're going to continue to climb and go up uh, maybe it's a good time to sell a house if you want or need to maybe it's a good time to stay in your house that you have had uh, for some time Uh, it's been shown that a lot of people and i think i would be in this category as well uh, want to stay in their house as long as possible uh, versus moving to uh, some type of senior living if they if they can avoid that but at some point uh, I'm sure most of us will will want or need to do that but if you are looking at staying in your home as long as possible uh, I wanted to discuss a, a little bit about that here this morning on today's show the the benefits or some of the benefits of aging in place or staying in your own home is of course it allows you to remain and feel more independent than if you were moving into an apartment community or other senior community where there's a lot more people around them if you like your neighbors and like your community it lets you stay uh, engaged in uh, your local community and probably one of the big things is with the cost of uh, apartments and other types of senior living arrangements uh, staying in your own house might be more much more affordable than if you were to sell your house and and move the uh, also if a person is uh, if you've been in your house for uh, years, maybe decades, uh, 20, 30, 40 years, which I run into some people that they have, uh, many people that we work with have been in their house for literally decades. And uh, and I'd probably be the same way in that uh, I'm just comfortable in my own house. So uh, I would prefer, uh, a lot of people would prefer not to move and they're just more comfortable where they've been for years or de- or even decades um, and of course there are services that can help you stay in your own house if, if that's uh, what you'd like to do uh, it's it's really just the feeling of uh, being at home and in a familiar place where people are already comfortable with so those are really the some of the benefits of staying in your own home and aging in place um the other items is the other thing to think about is the disadvantages of maybe uh staying in your own house uh, the probably the biggest thing one of the things that i hear most is the, the reasons that people are thinking about selling their house if they've been in it a long time is that the maintenance and repairs have just become more difficult and too much to handle and so they prefer not to worry about things like lawn care uh, and uh, snow removal if you're if that's applicable to where you're at geographically Uh, also as we age if if we need to have people coming into the house 
maybe some people really don't want the strangers uh, routinely coming into the house. And uh, if you're on your own, sometimes health issues can go unnoticed and and some of those things can be neglected, which isn't necessarily a, a good thing. Uh, also, especially if you've lost your lost a spouse and you're on your own, uh, being on your own and the isolation uh, can become a problem. And so those are some of the things that would be a disadvantage or things of not being good of staying in your own house. I, I worked with uh, one gentleman that was actually in his 90s that was still independent in his house. But um, once he moved to a uh, independent uh, retirement community, he really uh, he really enjoyed that uh, being able to be around other individuals, the social environment, and he actually had a, a better, uh, more more abundant life uh, once he once he moved. So. Uh, that's also something to consider uh, with that, especially if you're uh, on your own at this point. Uh, sometimes uh, aging in place can just improves, uh, can improve your, your quality of life, uh, which uh, of course can improve your physical health. And so it just depends on what your current needs and, um, and current desires are and really looking into the options of what may be best and what's available for you. Uh, like I said, staying in your house, some of the biggest things that I've run into are, are people talking about or, or people not wanting to be responsible for the repairs and maintenance of their own home uh, going forward. And so just to know that there are services out there that can perform some of those maintenance issues for you. Uh, they can perform uh, taking care of your, your lawn care, doing some of those things so that you don't have to worry about those chores if you don't want to. Uh, also, another service that Home Downsizing Solutions is considering uh, implementing is being able to buy your house but then you could stay in the house as long as you would like to by renting it back from the company. Uh, and what that will do is for you, uh, the, the, the current homeowner, is it will transfer the issues of maintenance, repairs, and, and those items to uh, the company so that they will take care of those things so that you can uh, enjoy your home just as you just as you always have and uh, have the comfort of the home that you're familiar with but uh, home downsizing solutions will take care of any maintenance issues and any repairs uh, things like that uh, for as long as you want to stay in the house so that might be another option that would be available to you that uh, that might not have been a consideration before so if you have any questions about that, again, this is really a brand new program that, we're, that they are just starting to uh, make available to people in select markets. But if you have questions, uh, call, call our office at toll-free 855-291-5005. Again, that's 855-291-5005. Or just go to homedownsizingsolutions.com. If you would like a copy, a free copy of uh, my new book, Home Downsizing Secrets, just go to homedownsizingsecrets.com or again, just call the office and we'd be happy to send one of those out. So if we can assist in anything with home downsizing or aging in place, uh, just give us a call at 855-291-5005 and we'd be happy to assist you at this time. If you'd like, uh, if you'd like today's show, uh, please let us know that too. We, we want to be a value to you, our listeners. And if you have topics, uh, something that you'd like us to cover, um, please call my office as well. And we want to be a value to you, our listeners. So thank you for listening to this episode of the Home Downsizing Show and look forward to seeing you next week. 
Thank you very much. Thank you for listening to this episode of The Home Downsizing Show. For additional information and resources on home downsizing, just go to homedownsizingblueprint.com. That's homedownsizingblueprint.com. Or if you're ready to sell your house and downsize, just go to homedownsizingsolutions.com. That's homedownsizingsolutions.com. And if you have ideas to improve our show or topics that you'd like us to cover or have any questions that we can answer, just call our office toll free 855-291-5005. That's 855-291-5005. Thank you.